Let's study the analysis of Doppler's effect when source is at rest and observer is moving. Say if this is a sound source which is having its frequency n naught, and in front of it there is an observer, and source is initially given to be at rest, and this observer is moving towards the source with a speed v naught. Now in this situation, as we have studied, the source will emit oscillations which are having wavelength lambda naught, where lambda naught is given as c by n naught. The waves propagate at a speed of sound c. Now if the observer is also moving towards the source with the speed v naught, we can say observer will feel that sound is approaching the observer at a speed c plus v naught. So if we talk about the distance covered by the wave with respect to observer in one second, so we can say the total number of oscillations which are there in c plus v naught meter length will be received by the observer in one second, because in one second observer will travel a distance v naught, the wave will travel a distance c. So in total, with respect to observer. The length c plus v naught meter will be absorbed by the observer. So we can say apparent frequency heard by observer can be given as an apparent is equals to number of waves in c plus v naught meter length. So this will be c plus v naught by lambda naught as length of one oscillation or length of one wave is lambda naught. And lambda naught we can write as c by n naught. So the c plus v naught by c by n naught. So this apparent frequency can be given as n naught into c plus v naught by c. This is quite an important relation you should keep in mind. And we can also modify this relation if the velocity of observer is in opposite direction. Say if the observer is moving in the opposite direction, that is, it is receding away from the source with the speed v naught, then the relative speed of sound with respect to observer will become c minus v naught. So if this will be c minus v naught, these all signs will get changed, and the frequency will be n naught c minus v naught by c. So we can say if observer is approaching. Source apparent frequency will be n naught c plus v naught by c, which is more than n naught. And if observer is receding away from source, we can see n apparent will be c minus v naught by c, so it will be less than n naught. These are the relation you should keep in mind because there will be various numerical applications we will see soon on this.